It's an incredible opportunity. The minister spoke about the, the, the depth and the breadth of talent available uh, in the country, in you know, other countries around the world. I think, uh, you know, the fact that you can, t you know, the way the COVID relief funds show up in an individual's accounts instantly, it's remarkable. And, you know, we built Google Pay in India based on uh, the UPI stack. And now we are bringing that to other countries around the world. There are many more examples of it. You know, we used AI technology to develop flood forecasting uh, for India and then later Bangladesh. I mean, this is an alert which gets sent out to 23 million people every year. Now we are bringing it to many, many more countries around the world. So I think you will see this trend grow over time. And, uh, you know, with the scale of the market here, being able to find a solution. And in many cases in India, you can leapfrog and get to the next solution faster. So I think it'll be a big incentive for us to do it here and then take it to other countries which sometimes are slower uh, to, to go through these phases. So I see this trend as something which will inc be increasing over time. It's the, the yojanas and the policies and the, the technology stack co-evolving. That's right. Uh, that's just a, a virtuous cycle that is unlike anything I've seen. And it's just tremendous. And to your point, I absolutely think both of these as perhaps the greatest contributions that India can make to the world, quite frankly. When I Thank think you. about it, the idea that there is a digital public good mm -hmm. is great. But there's a digital public good with, I'll even call it, some sort of new ways to use them yeah. to make it possible for every society and economy to be more inclusive. Right? Exactly. Which is, what is it that I learn in India every time I come? It goes back to even that thing I was talking about, Bashini. Exactly. Which is, it's the common man able to use the greatest technology yeah. to do something that is useful to them. Uh, and it's not about tech for tech's sake. And that, to me, is what I think India can contribute, which is, I think, it's the age of celebration of technology for technology's sake is over. It's about really thinking about technology and its use for everyone in the world. asked for an appointment with Prime Minister Modi and he very graciously gave me an instant appointment and listened to me for half an hour where I talked about Aadhaar. I'm sure he knew everything about it but he still listened to me very patiently and he became the biggest champion of Aadhaar and then of course the famous Jam Trinity, Jandan Aadhaar Mobile which has transformed benefit delivery in India at a scale and speed that is unprecedented. It is his appreciation of the possibilities of technology which has enabled digital India. Now entering what is called as the tech decade or techade. And just as we used technology to build Aadhaar, the Jam Trinity, many more things are happening. For example, in 2016, when certain currency notes were withdrawn in November 2016, then digital payments became important and Prime Minister Modi put his weight behind UPI and launched the famous Bheem application. And today, India is a global leader in digital payments. Under the vision and the leadership of His Excellency the Prime Minister, Digital India has put the country on the forefront of tech innovation and adoption with game-changing initiatives like Adahar, the Unified Payment Interface Platform, UPI, and so many others, so many, so many other initiatives that have turned India into a knowledge-based economy where innovation is happening fast, at low cost, 
and on a massive scale unseen before. Because at the center is a basic principle. And that basic principle, inclusive growth, is captured in the mantra, Sabka Sat, Sabka Vikas. At the outset here, we can learn a lot from India when it comes to digitization, you know. Um, uh, I am, you know, now I'm here for three and a half months and I'm amazed by the way digitization has, um, you know, swept through the country, if I may say so. Um, uh, you know, the paying by phone, and you know, the way how people, you know, work with their smartphone in, in order to get through life is, we are way behind, way behind. We would like to be more digitized than, than we are now, and I think India is a good example for that. <laughs>